check this out, Tanisha. We've always been able to have uh, our differences of opinion. Um, but we have always, 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 one thing all siblings have in common, regardless of what our differences of opinion was, we always, 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 always agree on the respect for children. That's something that's across the board. There's some differences we have, some things we do, and that is what it is, and I respect it, and y'all respect it, and that's cool. But there's one thing we do. There's one thing we do, and that is we respect the children. That's what we're gonna do, okay? So I will say that, and I wanna say that, and I, I, that's one thing we agree on, no matter what side of this equation that you sit on. Um, but let me just say some facts. Number one, Sip Nation, we also have a rule. Burn pages, unfortunately, you cannot comment. You can like, you can watch, you cannot comment on this page. You are not allowed to, 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 to you will be blocked expeditiously. So a burn page was <laughs> sitting up there saying, it's not, let's stand on, like how are you standing on something you're on a burn page? That didn't make no sense to me, so I blocked the expedition. Burn pages, you cannot, if you have an opinion, it's cool for you to have, as long as you can stand on it and be on your own page. Burn pages, you cannot speak on this. I literally pass this phone. You cannot speak on this. I don't care what it is, you can't speak on it. I'm sick of y'all with the, with the trying to comment and having an opinion, but can't stand on your opinion on an on a, on a app that nobody on the app gonna come to touch you, touch no, no, I, I'm, listen, I'm not gonna waste my, listen, if you come up here and you have an opinion, I promise you, burn page. I'm not gonna waste my time trying to find you. Nobody's gonna do that. I don't know why you even on burn pages nowadays. It don't make no sense. So the punishment is you can't talk over here. You can motherfucking listen, but your ass can't talk. We could chill. You can kiki, but you, as far as passing your opinion, you cannot do that. If you want to cast your opinion, we want to hear it. But put it on your page so you can stand on your opinion. Ain't no such thing as a burn page sitting up here engaging in the conversation about. We stopped, we nipped that nerd, we nipped that nail in the bow with shame. That shit went out of that shit went out of style in 2018. It's 2020. Two years later. We're not gonna do it. Burn page is a um, a foo-foo account or whatever you want to call it. A foo-foo page or a uh, what do they call that? Like a, a a fake page. A page that's not actually your page. Okay? That's what a burn page is. So if you're a real person, you can talk whatever you want to talk. And we're gonna respect it. And you can stand on it. So if you can't do that, then sit back and watch the festivities. Now, y'all know if I, okay, okay, so let me just say this real quick, real, real quick, and I'm gonna go into the comments on that last post I did. Alright. So I was just in somewhere Alabama. I do not know where Alabama, but somewhere Alabama. And somebody with my hoodie and my mask on recognized me and took a picture. So that means, bitch, I'm feeling very Hollywood. But thank you so much for whoever you were. Uh, I was trying to get to the bathroom, but I still took the picture. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for sipping. I don't know if you were here or if you, wherever you at or whatever you know me from, but I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, you made me feel a little grand, sister. I wish I didn't have to pee. So I gotta talk with you more and find out more about you. Uh, she's a short sister, Ray. Uh, she got a mask on too, so I don't know who she is. We took a picture. So uh, please send it to me if you're in here. I want to post it because I feel so grand right now because I'm in somewhere out of bed. Who knows? And sippers are everywhere. So that, that's good. I like that. That was good. She stopped me and knew who I was. And didn't say make sure again. I liked it even more. So, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that was even better. She said MC shit. So check this out. All right, so now let's get into these comments. Some people in the comments were saying this. It's not Judy fault, it is the mama fault. Because the mama should have reminded her children. I'm in mean, somewhere out of it. On my way there. Oh my God, what's the status of the kid? Y'all know. So um, the last we heard, the kid was still in the hospital, but that was over, no, that was in November 22nd. So it's been like a week or two weeks or something. 
So, um, I just said somewhere Alabama, but I don't know what about Alabama. So look, I want to see you in Houston. I mean, Houston next week. Love you forever. What's going on, best friend? So I'll be in Houston next week. Uh, check this out. So there's a baby. The, the one, okay, listen. The mama was doing the other baby hair. Some kind of way, her 10 month old son got to the Miracle Drops, drank the Miracle Drops, the Miracle Drops, and was hospitalized, apparently, allegedly, according to the post. Uh, if you want to see, I don't post kids, so I'm not going to post it, but the kid is, uh, the kid is, um, was hospitalized, put on all kind of, uh, look like tubes and breathing tubes and everything else. Uh, I don't know too much about medical, so I'm going to just say this. Next week, um, next week, say it. It's the go look at my pages on me. So that was the story. Um, allegedly, apparently, now this is unconfirmed. This is unconfirmed. So I have a talk to the people because I don't want to know about the kid other than know the kid is okay. I don't want to know about nothing else about wh whether the kid is okay. That's all I want. And that's all I pray for right now. I pray that the kid is okay. So some people in the comments was like, it's the mama fault. It's not Judy's fault. Now the people, the lady who posted this story, specifically in the post said she doesn't want to blame Judy or Miracle Drops. She wants to blame. She just, she knows she's talking it up to like, she inadvertently let the baby drink it. But let me tell you something. All right, I get it. You don't want to blame Judy. You don't want to blame Miracle Drops. Okay, cool. You don't want to blame them because you probably were thinking that, oh, it's um whatever, whatever. And y'all know how vicious this bitch is in court and stuff like that. But this is my thing. There's a reason why we put the childproof doors on the chemicals under the zinc. We put the childproof doors there. There's a reason we keep the bleach and the Clorox and the Lysol. We keep them there. There's a reason we keep them separate from just putting them in the refrigerator or putting them in the toy box. And all, all those packaging is saying keep away from children. All, we know these things to be harmful chemicals. We know that. It's killing bacteria, so you know what it'll do to us. It's killing germs, 99 per 9 percent killing germs, so we know what it'll do to us. So there's a reason we keep that away from children specifically. The people who make these products understand this, and so they tell us on the packaging. This ain't no natural stuff, this chemicals. Keep this away from children. It's flammable. Put it in a safe spot. They tell you that to save their asses, but also to save your child warning. To save your child life. It's telling you on the package, listen, keep this away from your child and say nothing you want to put around your child. They tell you that. There's no confusion, no type of, no type of, you can't really get that confused. You feel I me? Mean? That's why these makers of these products tell you about their products. This is what's in here. Don't put this around the church. This can harm them or harm you. Careful and swallow. You see the labels all the time. Get it? Don't put it in your eyes. If you get in your eyes, call it, you know, whatever. This is what they tell you on the product. Right? They tell you this so you know specifically what should be done. Okay? There's no confusion. Lysol never came to you and said, listen, it's natural. All natural, easy, peasy. They never came to you and said that. They never said, Clorox, they never come to you and say, listen, this is natural. This is all good for you. It's not going to harm you. They never said that. You feel me? So you take extra care when you deal with these products. Sometimes you put on gloves. You keep them, you definitely keep them locked up. They got the childproof things that the, they put you, you put under the sink. Or sometimes you put them up high so the children can't get to them. Because you know the children like to play with stuff. They don't market it to children. They don't, none of that. They don't market it to children. Have you ever saw a kid's Lysol commercial? Think about it. Have you ever saw a kid's motherfucking, a kid's, uh, what do you call this shit? A kid's Clorox commercial? What they, they ever said Clorox with bleach for kids? You ever saw that commercial? No. Because they know the product is for adults. Now look at this. This woman told you her product was natural. This woman told you her products were safe. This woman told you she even have a kid's line. There's even kid's line. 
So don't tell me it's the mama fault. True enough. As parents, we gotta find them children all day, every day. From things that seen and unseen. You got the mind. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying this mama is absolved from minding her children. Yes, you got the mind of children. We know that, you know that, I know that, we all know that. But I will say, if you would have just said that this is some formaldehyde and this shit for dead acid, I made this in a chemical lab, trying shit, cooking up acid burn, if you would have told us that and put it on the packaging, yeah, you're right, you wouldn't be in trouble. You wouldn't be, it wouldn't be your fault if you would have told us that from the get-go. So we know to take special care of this acid that you put in the bottle, talk about it's gonna make your hair grow. If it was natural, all that baby would've got was a little diarrhea. It'll come out her as naturally as anything else that you eat that's natural. You got this poison acid in the motherfucking bottle and you say it's safe, it's natural. Here, it got a kid line. Look at the kids having fun playing with the motherfucking acid drops. Look at the kids having fun playing with the dead drops. She got that in the packaging. She got that on the commercial. So you are led to believe, misleadingly so, that it's safe for kids. Because she uses kids to peddle this. So it's a different kind of thing that hit people. Stop being crazy all your life. Stop being crazy all your life. If it was natural, the baby would have had a little diarrhea and it'd be, we wouldn't even talk about this right now. That is chemical acid poison. What's in the bottle? Probably ain't even what's, what's on probably, probably the shit that's in the label. Probably ain't even about. Remember they had a, a, a woman that reviewed it and she looked at all the ingredients and she said formaldehyde. That's for dead people. What the fuck is that doing in, a, in this all natural box? If it was natural, I'm telling you what I know. I talk to dumb intolerance. If it was natural and they eat it or something, they might have a little upset stomach or something. You send them all, give them pepto bismol, send them on the way. For this to put this little baby in the hospital, this shit got some chemicals in it like motherfucking Clorox, Lysol, Kaboom, not Kaboom, uh, <laughs> Fabuloso, bitch. I don't know. You need a hazard label and a Surgeon General are warning on that shit. Trust the plus. What, and what happened to the child from top? You know you went around here selling this shit that's gonna kill these kids. Why is it that all these children is suffering? Because who, why y'all not? What, her body count with suffering kids, bitch, is at like 500, bitch. I swear to God. This nasty Dodge Caravan built bitch Body count with kids is like 147. I'm I, I, like for real. How is we? How she still? How? I wouldn't even be able to wake up and sleep. I would be. I would be feeling so bad. That shit tall or something, girl. Bitch, that shit cancerous. Bitch, I would never put that around my. Bitch, I get that to my the only person. Bitch. The only person I want to see, listen y'all, the only person that I really want to see when using America Drives, bitch, is, <laughs> is Super Saiyan, bitch. That's the only person I want to see use America Drives. Burn her head off, bitch. Let the rest of us make it. Leave the kids alone. I don't want to see nobody else do that shit. Bitch, the only, <laughs> I ain't talking about her, my bad, Super. My bad, I'll I, I stop talking to her. Just a little, that was just a little, that was just a little, that was just a little that was just a little recidivism shade, bitch. That was just a little throwback shade, no shade. I ain't talking about you, I saw it, I apologize. That was just a little throwback shade, bitch. I don't wanna see nobody doing this to themselves, girl. The fuck? Y'all, listen. <laughs> that's the only person that's more see. <laughs> bitch, drop it. That ass in their fucking scalp, bitch. That's the only person I'm going to see doing it. I don't want to see nobody else doing it. The baby is apparently alive according to what the people are saying. That the baby is alive. Okay? She don't even use one. Oh, she ain't stupid. She ain't putting that shit in her head. You know, I ain't never saw her put that shit in her head for real. 
And I am not convinced that that shit that she used is the same shit in the bottle, bitch. I think that's water she dropping her hand. I do see a bit of put the nasty ass acid drops in her hand. Because there ain't nowhere in hell. Listen, I'm telling you. I've talked to dermatologists before. If it's natural or semi-natural, you don't have to come with a warning because it means it's not harmful. It's products that can be found free. But if it's not natural, but that's the worst thing that'll happen is the baby go, like, ain't no shit. Girl, girl, that's all I can tell you, bitch. That's all I can tell you, bitch. And that's what you're putting on your, this stuff, this motherfucking, these motherfucking demon drops, bitch, gonna put a little boy in the hospital and you put them on your head, bitch. Oh, you a dog, bitch. <laughs> You a dog. I respect your mother. You got to be a real soldier to do some shit like that, bitch. You got to be a motherfucking soldier, bitch. You got to be. You got to have a good heart, bitch. This shit hot spot. You to see everybody shit fry off. Soon as they put this shit on, it fry the fuck off, bitch. Bitch, that shit fry and pop like Crisco, like a uh, some breaded fish in Crisco, bitch. It fries the fuck off. Soon as you put it in your hair. Your scalp be fucked up. You just see the hundred stories of this. Not there's a little child in the hospital fighting for his life, allegedly. And you telling me you about to put it in your head? Oh, you a dog, bitch. I need to be with you. You need to, bitch. You need to go rob banks. You, you like suicide. You be on a suicide mission, bitch. That's more. Them drops is. Poison. That's the song she need to fucking make and remix. That fuck why? Stop long and healthy, bitch. <laughs> bitch. These drops are poison. Oh, bitch, shit. Girl, and you putting that in your head, you a dope. Bitch, I respect your motherfucking mind. You dropping that ass, bitch. You do this shit to hospitalize people, to send people to the emergency room, and you putting it in your head. Oh, you a motherfucking mute. Cause you a dog. You a dog. Yeah, I think the mama should sue. Yes, the fuck I do. I think the mama should sue. I think the mama should sue. This is why I think the mama should sue. Because this is why. That's not all natural and it's not for kids. She have a kids line that make you think this product is safe for kids and it's obviously not. That's number one. Number two, she marketed to kids. She literally used kids in the marketing. She uses kids. I'm never gonna do that. I am, I'll never market two kids or for kids. My product is not for kids. I'm letting y'all know that right now. My product is not for kids. If you need some dermatology control problem for your kids, take them to a dermatologist. Don't come and shake. Okay? That's for us. Us grown folks. That ain't for them kids. Do I think the mama should shoot fucking right? I think the mama should sue that hoe for everything she got. Because at the same time, she is like deception. It's like false advertising. That's what I'm thinking. See what I'm saying? You're on the price and you said gentle for kids. Okay for kids. This is for kids. The is 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 uh what the fuck is the uh <laughs> uh Kalapa kid, whatever the fuck it is. Kalapa's kids. They got kids, she market two kids, specifically for kids. That's what I'm saying. I never saw I never saw y'all saying, oh, it's the mama fault. No. Clorox come with a one. I never saw them market to kids. You never, I ain't never saw no kid. Listen, I don't, you ain't seen no more. I don't market to kids. I sure don't. I don't market to kids. I'm not going to deceive you into thinking it's for kids. I'm never going to say it's for kids. I'm not going to tell you how to raise your children. That's what you need to do. So this is what I'm talking about. So do she assume? Yes. Because if you look at what the advertising says, if you look at what the packaging says, it needs you to believe that this is safe to be around kids. This is not some type of harmful product that you need to specific have some specific keep away like you do when it's harmful chemicals around and you keep them away from kids. There's things that you do when you have those type of products around. Yeah, I don't have no stuff for kids. If you use those stuff for kids, you're not using it because I told you. I'm not finna market to kids or play with kids like that, and I love kids, but I'm not finna do that. It's not gonna, it's never gonna have a stiff cosmetic skin. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna happen. And my product is natural and semi natural. Right. 
right? But I don't have nothing for kids. I don't have nothing for kids. I don't have a kid's line. Tea tree, leaf, earl, peppermint, and some ingredients that's left labeled. Girl, if that was just tea tree and leaf, earl, bitch, that, boy, that baby, that would have never sent no babies to the hospital. Tea tree, earl, and leaf, earl, you, it's not edible, bitch, bitch. It's not harmful to you if you eat it, bitch. Them earls gonna give him a little, girl, them earls gonna make him fight, bitch. I know what it's happening for. Does she list her ingredients? But that's what I'm thinking. That's why she shut down the website. You feel me? If that was tea tree Earl, that ain't no tea tree Earl putting no baby in no hospital. I don't care what nobody say. You could a baby could drink a bottle of peppermint. Peppermint Earl is edible. First of all, that's number one. Peppermint Earl is edible. That's number two. that's number one. Tea tree Earl, they ain't gonna put, you could drink a bottle of tea tree Earl. Ain't gonna put you the baby be right here fighting. Bitch. That ain't wouldn't have did that. And it's some it's some other chemicals in that bitch that's making that baby go to the hospital. And just because it's natural doesn't mean it's not harmful. Well, yeah, I can agree with that. What's going on, Slime Dogs? I'm an ACL sister. Yeah, they had a girl. I had reposted. The girl had put on YouTube, bitch, this guy from Melda hiding. That's for dead people. I'm not finna put this in my head. It's a no for me. I remember that girl. She shut down. Yeah, she shut down the website, girl. She shut that bitch down. I don't know why. Come on, she won't give back. Bitch, you need to get these people that you motherfucking just do these two kids you try to. This girl got more. Girl. I'm not no angel, bitch. I'm far from it. But bitch, this whole got more kids suffering under her belt than a little bit. If she ain't playing them out there, rightfully old money, she putting them in slave contracts. She trying to get them to better her products for, selling them dreams, neglecting them, killing them. And now all of a sudden she um putting them in the hospital. Girl, what else do we got to see from this bitch? What else do we got to see? What the fuck? This girl got everything under her belt, girl. Girl, y'all better keep that baby from grandma, girl. <laughs> better watch him, my girl. We might wake up, my baby. Man, <laughs> too bad I'm no top because I see the top was burning off. Girl, this poison, girl. That drop is poison. Never take responsibility. Girl, she fighting. Girl, she fighting and my mama. She got that woman in court. Yeah, she got that woman going to court for that. You were supposed to settle that lawsuit and, get, and, and go about your business. She going to court for that. Who going to court for that? Who the fuck that? Hold your hand, mama. You making this mama go to court for this. I hope that judge sock it to your bitch ass. What's the product, baby? You know what product is on me. you making that woman go to court bad like a motherfucker. How you gonna whip her? Whip her pop, whip her well back down. The website now. Somebody said he drinking milk and, and left. What's funny about that, sister? What's funny about a man drinking milk? I'm eating cookies. Why can't I drink milk? What did you find about this humor? I need to know what you, what you found about this so humorous. And if you don't come to the live, sister, I'm going to block the fuck out. Oh, you declined? Goodbye. I, I don't even understand. This is what I'm saying. He's drinking milk. Ha, ha, ha. What's funny? I, I need to know what's funny about that. I'm eating a cookie, drinking some milk. This is funny to you. I don't even... Uh, bye. Find your life.
That was the stupidest shit I ever saw in my life. I didn't even understand that one. I'm drinking milk. I'm eating cookies and drinking milk. She put, he drinking milk. <laughs> you thought you killed it, huh? All right, let's ask the people what y'all think about it. And don't come here with the foolishness, please. Like, I didn't even understand. Like, you had to go. Oh, he drunk milk. Oh, my God. Ah, he drunk milk. Not milk. Ah, see, he drunk milk. Let me air him out, girl. That girl, girl, bitch, you're a milk drinking bitch. Hey. Yeah, that didn't make no sense to me. All right, you know what? Took too long. Took too long. Let's see who's doing. Oh, you're drinking milk. Oh, let me this bitch out. Girl, let me tell y'all, girl, I saw Shaky was drinking milk. What's going on? What's going on, sister? Okay, so I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this live. And I'm listening to what you're saying, and I'm reading the comments. First of okay. all, there is no way a baby or a or adult will be in the hospital from drinking anything that's natural. Okay. If it's peppermint oil, if it's almond oil, Type of oil is not going to hurt us internally because we have to right. remember that before all of this craziness came, what, what were people doing back in the day? What was our grandparents doing? They was growing pepper. Use the herb. They herbs. Thank you. So that's all it is. They're extracting from from those herbs, those oils. Secondly, as a business owner regardless if it is natural or not, you have to put a disclaimer on the bottle. My product is all natural, but guess what? I still put it on there. This is for external, not internal. Okay. Thirdly, you have to put a childproof cap on a product. I don't give a damn if it is a child product. You still put a childproof cap on there. So, the fact that people are saying that it's this mother's fault, no, it is not. It is the company's fault. Because what you don't do as a company is, you do not list something on your product that is not in it. All right. Let me ask this. Somebody in the thing said that the child could have been allergic. But even so, even if it's an allergy, you have to put that on there too because I've seen people say, if you're allergic to, it's from a sense they have peanuts. So don't eat this because you have a peanut mm -hmm. allergy. But I've never heard of nobody being allergic to peppermint. I've never heard of it that in my life. I didn't know that was me, a thing. Me neither. But I've never heard of people being um, allergic to peppermints either. But hey, hey, hey. You missed out on never know. You missed out. If you were allergic to peppermint, you missed out on everything in Grandma's purse because that's all she had was peppermint. <laughs> She had the green peppermint, the red one, the the uh the soft ones. You missed out on a whole lot of if you was allergic to pepper. But I didn't know that was a a, a thing. But it might be. I don't know. There's everything else is an allergy. You know, you never know. And and you know, today with all of this mess they putting in our foods and stuff like that, you know, the the things that kids and what kids are born to are born with the allergies and things like that. You know, that stuff is is changed from when we were growing up. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is. You as a as a business, you have to put that. And if you are going to say your product is natural, your product, just like you just said, if you take that internally, the only thing you're gonna do is have you you gonna be on the toilet. Okay, so listen. It says an allergic reaction to peppermint is a thing. Um, some people have it and can occur when you eat something that may have the mint or leaf. Itchy, swollen lips and tongue. Okay, so let me. So, abdominal pain, nausea, environment, or diarrhea. There's, n you know, how many people died from peppermint allergy last year? Zero. 
Right. How many people so have my that? thing is this. If your kid was allergic to any ingredient, if I mean, let's just let's just play this, okay. As an adult, you go and buy a product, you lift up the bottle, you read the ingredients, right? If you notice your child is allergic to peppermint, you're not going to buy it. You're going to put it back, right? That's right. Now, That's if hard. you go yes. and pick up a product and you know your kid is allergic to peppermint and you pick it up and it don't have peppermint in there, it doesn't have it on the label, and you put it on your on your child and that child has an allergic reaction, guess what? It's peppermint in there and that company did not disclose that on that label, which is causing a whole nother problem. Oh, so this, according to Healthline.com, okay, a uh, health of uh, a mint allergy is very rare, and usually the most severe thing is diarrhea. There's never uh, there has been zero person that has died from a mint allergy, a uh, mint allergy, in the U.S. last year. Zero people. I'm trying to see it go back a few years, and there was zero people that died from a mint allergy in the last two years. I don't see how far back you have to go to find out who, who took one of grandma peppermints and just didn't make it. But, okay, so <laughs> let's say, for instance, so is it possible that there was a certain in the ingredients that the baby was allergic to? Is that possible in this situation? Or is it that, or, which, or what's more like, so more, to me, and, and just from a business standpoint, in this case, so the baby had a reaction to the products. Was it because, A, the baby's allergic to something natural like peppermint or tea tree, which nobody, is very rare, but possible, or what's more realistic? So many motherfuckers that she's not fucking telling us. That, that, because that goes back to what I just said. If your baby, you pick up a product and you go, and you go, wait a minute. Oh, I want to try this. And you look and you, and you know good and darn well your baby's allergic to teacher and peppermint, but you pick up the bottle and you see it listed, you got to be a whole fool to buy it and use it on your child, knowing your child is allergic to it. Now, if you pick it up, you read the ingredients and you go, Oh, wait a minute. My baby allergic to peppermint and tea tree. Okay, but it's not listed. Oh, it's all good. I'm safe, right? You buy it. You use your. You use the product. And boom, something happens. So right. that means that that company did not disclose that ingredient on that bottle. See, this is what's happening. I know what's happening. This is what's happening. Let me see something. I'm about to explain to you exactly what's happening. Process things are cheaper than those natural things. Mm -hmm. If you use the peppermint oil, teacher tree oil, and it's the natural one, it's more, it's, it's cost more than you throwing some chemical shit that they made in a lab in China somewhere. It's yeah. not, it's so cheap. So what happens is that's why natural products and all this natural stuff is always higher than something yep. that's not natural. And so with, at that being said, this is what the bitch is. The bitch did. The bitch threw some shit in there. Okay, I ain't got time to be pay, paying for no peppermint and all that shit. I'm going to get some cheap shit from China that's going to sizzle your fucking scalp, some Kanye pepper mixed with CO2, mixed with nitrous oxide, mixed with... <laughs> and I'm going to send that, I'm going to put that in the bottle. It's going to be all right. Because it's cheaper than the peppermint oil. It's cheaper than the tea tree oil. It's cheaper than these natural oils that do help you anyway. It's cheaper than that. And I'm going to make my product cheaper. I'm going to charge the same price. I'm going to say it's all natural. I'm going to charge the same price. So why people is trying to say, oh, it's not this one? Listen, I know for a fact, and everybody on this line, and everybody know for common sense, that this businesswoman, as y'all say she is, I call a bitch a dump truck. This BFI, this bitch needs to be a garbage truck, garbage pill, whatever the fuck you want to call it. This bitch trying to say, make more money so she could trick off to the to to that sperm rotten brat of hers, busting up and down on a stripper pole every day while she put the collider money in a bitch. To underwear, and so she made them products as cheap as she could make, cause you know Walmart only give her twelve dollars a bottle. Target I think give her thirteen, fourteen. Nobody giving her the money that she make off the line herself, and then they don't even give her money for the products they don't sell. After a certain quarter, they every quarter they send it back. Oh, we only sold two. Here, they are consignment deals with her, so they gonna give her the check for two bottles, and so they might so she get a twenty-four dollar check from Target, a three hundred dollar. A two hundred dollar check from Walmart, and so this shit ain't selling good. They should have shut down the website so you could go buy it from Target and stuff, because they threatened to pull it out the stores because they're just sitting down there holding up motherfucking space. So she shut the website down so you could go buy it out of Target and stuff, because they threatened to pull it. Oh, bitch, this shit ain't selling. Bitch, anybody buying this dumb ass shit? They got two people buying the shit, <laughs> and them two people she paying to go buy it. So she just shut the website down so you could go buy it from them 
before they pull a stupid ass out the motherfucking thing and, and she them trying to make and save money on them fucking drops that cost her two dollars because she get it from China and bitch and it went and sold this shit and the motherfucker put this baby in the hospital trying to cut a mammy motherfucking corner. That's what the fuck happened. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can say all this, oh, it's the mama fault and the product's this and that and that. That shit ain't true. We're the proof for a fact you get that shit from China for a dollar thirteen cent a motherfucking box. Yeah, that's that's definitely not the mother's fault. That's not. To me, to me as a business owner, to me as a person who sells products, you know, when when looking for the right type of bottle for my serum, I wanted a child proof cap on mine. You know, I think about stuff because at the end of the day, I'm a mother, you know, and I know what it's like when kids try to get in stuff. Yeah, granted, even though it's natural, but still, you know, you want to you want to put so many things in place the best you can as a business owner to prevent to try to prevent things from happening. L and let me ask you this. be as transparent as possible with your label. So to my screen, so you're in this business. Let me ask you something. So you often like you are your do you think your products are safe for children? Yes, your I, person, have, your, I have kids that use my products. Yes. Let me make some. Do you market your products to kids? Yes, I do. I so do how do you market your products? Well, I, I I market as far as you know showing people that it is a, a it is natural and that kids can use it. There's no type of chemicals or anything that's, in the product. No, that's marketed to parents for their kids. Do you market directly to kids? Oh no 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 no! I don't know. I don't know. Absolutely not. I don't directly talking, to kids. No. no. Some people that's good for their kids is marketing to parents to make a choice for their children. Yeah, yeah I'm talking about. Is that the Maya's crave kids? No. And with no. the kids turning my the product. So listen, no. this is the problem I have. She have a product that is geared and marketed directly to kids. She have a drop in a some shampoo and shit that's market. In fact, she actually bamboozled several kids into marketing the products for her. Is what I'm yeah, saying. No, no, hell, no. Excuse my language. No, I don't do that. <laughs> no. That was, she, no. She made she she made kids tell people, "Hey, this is good. I love it. I'm gonna do my milk homework, milkshake homework, and all this stuff." She made little kids lie that's directly marketed and sold as for kids, two kids, by kids, and safe for kids. Now, even though you're saying your product is safe for kids, I respect your mind because you don't market two kids. Yeah. You market to the parents that it's okay for their kids. And that's for the parents to make that decision at that time. Right. So what I'm saying in this case is she market directly to kids. She's marketing this directly to kids. That is a big thing. That's yeah. what y'all not understanding. So y'all thinking, oh, it's good, okay, cool, 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 this, that, and the other. It's the mama fault. No. These products are marketed Two kids. Yeah. Kids are all on advertisements. Kids are all there's a page directly dedicated for that. She have a whole kids line. I never saw no device crazy for kids. That my my son take bad to my house. He don't even look at your products. He just colors for it. He never look at it. He don't Leo and your products is in my shower. He don't even care. My daughter like it, but my son, he don't it's just not it's not marketed to kids. Right. It don't look king friendly to him. He don't want to play with this. This one is a black color. It's simple. I don't want to see this. This ain't no color for nothing. This ain't for me. Mm -hmm. I know this ain't for me. Where's the toys at? That's what he said. <laughs> right, right. Like, this ain't no toy. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, I definitely I don't market directly to kids, but yes, I do market like you said to parents to let them know. Yes, my product is safe, and I do leave it there for them to say, hey. Either I want to purchase this to use on my kid or no, I don't, you know, but no, right. I do not have Demaya's Cray kid line. No, I don't. And, that, and that's respectable. Yes. I can respect that because that's putting the onus on the parents. Mm -hmm. I believe my products are safe for kids, but I'm going to, I'm never going to tell the parents, I'm not, look, this ain't for kids. Mm -hmm. I don't market to kids. I don't use kids. I don't never say nothing about no, no. kids. No, no, no. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not this, if my life ain't for them. My page ain't for them. My products ain't for them. It's not for them. Mm -hmm. You as a parent can make a decision to do what you want with your kids. Right. But my stuff, I'm not. I'm sending it to you as a parent. I'm right. not sending it to no kids. Right. This woman actually sent it to kids. That's the problem I'm having. Right. And so we, as all this stuff keep coming out about these kids and stuff and whatever, whatever, 
What? I'm trying to figure out this stuff to put a boy in the hospital. Why are people putting that stuff in the head still? Formaldehyde and everything in the products? That's for dead people. Then a woman did a, a, a thing of a review and she looked at the product and she said, like, formaldehyde. Yeah, I remember what that. I remember that. Yeah, I definitely I remember think, that. So what? So so that's what I'm saying. Why? What? Do you have formaldehyde in your? Product? <laughs> I just I don't know. I what, thought it was for David. What, what, somebody I, behind me? No. <laughs> formaldehyde is embalming uh -huh. fluid. No, we'll play I thought over here. No, we'll play I thought the games. Sick people. Mm -hmm. No, we don't play them games. That's no. Mm -mm. Right. Because stuff like Every that chemicals and things like that lead to health issues down the road cancer yes all, all kind of stuff so no we don't play them games we all natural here. so have you ever misrepresented your product there was a time this bitch said that her product cured corona you ever thought you remember that shit put it on ball alert no i, I, I never no i have never <laughs> and that is crazy but no and you for you to for you to say something like that with a disease of that magnitude that has taken so many lives that just blows my mind you know you you have to me i just feel like you never stoop that low to market anything to sell your brand and to me that was low that was so low when i saw that and i'm just like you just you don't do that you just don't do that you know um you know that's what COVID? Yeah, Your product can yeah, cure COVID? No, no. Yeah, what's the help? She was losing her because of COVID. She said, oh, give it, oh, send us some, send us some acid drops. They're going to cure it. <laughs> They're going to kill it. They're going to cure it. That's what she said. So listen, let me ask you this. Okay, while I have you here. Because it, it, it's just, it's just, I, I just can't believe. See, you, I, I know you said that's crazy, but what's crazy is people call her a marketing guru or queen or whatever why are we as black people do you think so is we fall so easily for these okie dokes that these dumb assholes excuse my language i apologize i take that back these motherfucking monstrosities of human beings these disgusting human beings we uphold them but natural ethical respectful brands that follow i don't market the children i market to parents I take care of my products. I stay behind my products. Why do you believe it's the thing that you don't, is maybe not as successful as her, and she do everything that you can to fuck over? Like, we have so much paperwork, proof, lawsuits, and everything of how she done continually fucked over little kids over and over and over and over and over again. And we as black people, we don't run them hoes out the community, but a brand like you who don't do that, you follow the rules. You do your natural products. You come with some good. You come with good products at a good price. Why is it that we uphold these demons and don't up and don't uplift brands such as yours? Do you ever you ever sit back and think about that and ask I, yourself why? I think about that all the time. And what I will say is, in in society today, a lot of people follow what's popular. A lot of people hop on a product about, you know, based off of the popularity. They jump on it, they try it because everybody else is doing it. You know, that it can be a product, it can be a song, it can be a dance, it can be anything. And that's one thing that I have noticed as a business owner in this industry is that you have to stop and look at how her name blew up. And then how how her name blew up, how how she marketed, and what audience she marketed to, and you have to just follow that, follow that pattern, and follow that story of how you know it worked for her, and and it's okay, it's okay that it worked for her, you know. Um, but a lot of people followed it because she started with it blowing up on loving or you know loving hip hop with Ken, Kendall you know doing the whole thing or whatever and it just went crazy from there but you have to look at the audience she targets um and again it's nothing wrong with that but my thing is let's just speak real and and truthful about the product about your product about what you're doing you know what i'm saying and things like that um Oh my gosh! I'm sorry. I just read something that said, 
her 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 job secure her. Girl. <laughs> See, this, this is why I don't look at the comments. I'm sitting here trying to be so serious. But um but no, seriously, like, you know, that's one thing that I have noticed with me, you know, you know, building my brand, trying to get my name out there, and people follow what's popular. And as far as when it comes to her marketing, if you really look at her marketing compared to like another hair care product line when it comes to marketing, if you compare the two, you know, you have, you have Beverly Hills and you have Crenshaw. So Crenshaw is her and Beverly Hills is another company. You know, that's what I, that's how I compare it. And it's okay, but that's, that's her, that's her target audience. That's what works for her. That's who's buying her product. That is who her consumers are. You know, because it all started based off of where she marketed to. You know, just think about it. If I was, if I paid somebody to market my product on a very, very, very big um, platform like Love and Hip Hop or something like that, who do you think my target audience is going to be? It's going to be people that watch Love and Hip Hop. Now, do you really see really classy people? all the time sitting in front of TV watching Love & Hip Hop? No, you don't. You know, I watch Love & Hip Hop. Yes, I do, because I don't have no darn drama in my life, and that's that's the, all the drama that I get is sitting here watching TV. But, um, but yeah, you just have to look at, you have to look at your, your target audience, who you market to, and who's going to follow. Who's going to follow that trend? And those people are definitely going to follow that trend. Um, now, when I look at some of the things she does, some of the stuff I'm like, oh, that was that was different, but then some of the stuff I'm like, wait, what? Why did you do that? You know, like that. You couldn't have came up with nothing better, but it worked because it it targets her audience. Her audience likes things like that. You know, me personally, I I could never do anything like that because I don't. That's not my target audience. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I feel that. Like, I feel that like wholeheartedly. Because I, I, I really say, because I look at that shit, I'm like, why would I buy drops from a bitch who always wear wigs? Like, that don't make no sense to me. Like, I don't, I don't want to do that. Like, that doesn't make no sense to me. Right. But okay, so let's, let, let's get this. Let's, let me say this. Please, so don't change. Never. Don't discourage and change and turn to that. Never. Because I, I bought her, I bought her, I bought some of her drops to make fun of her. I keep it in the, in the seasoning, <laughs> in, in the seasoning cabinet. But I also have your jobs that you sent me, and I appreciate. Yo, you get a, you got a bigger job. Your and your stuff is Earl's. Your stuff is Earl's. Her stuff is like real life. Smell like like straight motherfucking lighter fluid or something. I don't know what the fuck is up with her shit. Your stuff is you have a better product that I actually works. That. I use myself. That I use myself. I don't even charge you. I can't even really charge you for promotion. Because I use this your stuff. And I, I use your stuff. I don't I'm not I have your stuff in my in my in my motherfucking shower right now. Is is your product, Shekinah leave in conditioner. That's what I use. That's how I do my hair. I really use that. So I don't know what they I don't know. I I was losing some hair because I was dying so much. Baby, I put your protein mask back on. I, I it was it said do it once like every four weeks. I was doing it every once every other week. Because it's so good, it smells like oatmeal. I put it on, I use my stuff, and my hair is so thick and full right now, I can't even, I can, I can barely even put the what you call it in it. And that's with the dye. So I yes. know your products, so you got to stop, I mean, you got to keep, I don't know how to tell, I don't know how to, I don't know what to do, because I'm not that smart, but I will tell you this, don't change. Please never. don't change and turn it at me. No, I never will, and the reason why, you know, you know, like I, you know, when I told you when I first came on, I told you my story, I told you how I started, and I wore wigs because of what I was suffering with, with the alopecia. And I had to, I honestly, I think it was all in God's timing. And, you know, with this whole COVID and all of this stuff going on, you know, it was just time. I think it was like, okay, this is your time to really sit down, strategize and put it together and, and feel comfortable in wearing your hair. You have a product that works and that has really grown your hair back in naturally. 
you don't have to wear wigs. You can make wigs an option. So with being, you know, with us being in, in um, quarantine and all this stuff going on with COVID, it really, really allowed me to feel confident in going out and wearing my hair, you know, and, and being able to tell women like, no, you can't reverse. Like, you don't have to wear wigs. Make wigs an option. Now, with me selling a product that I'm telling people that it works, it works, it works, I can't be sitting around here with a whole front lace on and I'm selling hair serum that I'm saying it work because they, they want to see your hair. That's like the other night when we were on with the young lady and we were laughing and she said, well, what's your hair look like? If my hair was done, I would have took my scarf off, but it wasn't, so I didn't. <laughs> But, you know, I washed my hair and stuff like that and styled it and, you know, but I'm not going to, I said I can't promote a hair care line saying that it's going to help grow your hair, but yet I have a wig on every time you see me. Every right. time you see me. Now, there's nothing wrong with wearing a wig. Don't get me wrong. There's absolutely no. nothing wrong with wearing a wig. There's nothing wrong. But my as mama, long as you yeah. are promoting and showing your growth, and showing your natural hair and things like that and letting your customers know there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But Same yeah, back. I will definitely, I'm never going to change. I'm still going to be the same person. You know, I don't, I just, my, my whole thing is to help women who suffer from hair loss, who suffer from traction, who suffer from hereditary alopecia and things like that, that they can't, they, they like, they feel like they have to wear a wig all the time. And, you know, a lot of people ask me, well, is your product just for, you know, people who with hair loss? No, it's not. But that's how it started. But just like you said, with your hair, with the color, you know, I get people that tell me like, girl, have you ever, has anybody ever told you that your products work so good on color hair? I said, I'm hearing that a lot. <laughs> you know, oh, it just, with you experiencing, you know, the, you know, just doing all the color and it's, you know, coming back and things like that. But you know, my thing is, I just, I just want to be able to help as many people as possible with natural hair care products. Just period, point blank. That's you will it. get the success. I know you will get the success you want, the success you deserve, and more. Yes. I promise you. Thank, Thank you so much for coming. As Bye. Always. Drive so, safe. Thank you. All right. So let me say this. Okay, I'm gonna speak from a sip cosmetic standpoint. Okay. I don't market sip cosmetics. Not for real. Uh, I post some here and there, but it's not even that serious. You know why? I can show you. I'm going to show you. Before Black Friday, Black Friday messed up my averages on one thing, and that's customer sales. I got a lot of new customers on Black Friday because we did a lot of sales. We had 502 orders throughout the Black Friday Cyber Monday thing. But I will say this. Um, so, is that Demayas Craig? D M A Y A S underscore Craig, C R A V. Uh, oh, excuse my leg. I use her products for real. I really use her products. So when she come to me and be like, um, I'm going to pay for some promotion, I said, girl, send me some protein masks. And we're good because I really use her products. I use them myself. Y'all see me in my shower all the time. I my I body wash with my body wash. Um, I use her for my protein masks. Um, I use Shekana Leave-In Conditioner. I showed you I've done my hair a lot before. It's not something I'm making up. I'm not, she don't pay me for promo. It's not paid for promo. She just send me some products for me. So she sent me some products because I I I'd be trying to buy the products, but she said, "Oh girl, no, girl, just give me some promo." So that's what it is. So I just want y'all to understand that she does not pay for promo. She's not pay, she not pay me to air her. There's nothing like that. I really use that product. Um. So but let me explain this. Who me, baby? Who me, Juicy baby? Who you talking to? I use different products because of my skin type. I use some cosmetics to refresh my face. So let me tell you something about Sip Cosmetics. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. But what, why I don't market, I don't advertise Sip Cosmetics is because my return customer rate is something like 60 some percent. Meaning that the people that we got when we initially launched and the marketing we did with for that, they come back and they constantly order. They constantly order. Like I have, a, I have customers that I know I can deal with myself and I don't have to really hire nobody or something like that. I can really deal with the ones I have myself. Now Black Friday may have changed that because we had 502 orders, and it was like 10%. So the people that buy, but it was a lot of new people. But I did take out an ad. I took out a Facebook and Instagram ad just to see what it would do. Um, and it was very successful. 
Um, I pretty much got like 19,000 visitors to, to, to the site. Um, and so uh, a lot of people, there was maybe, a, it was like something like 800 people of the 19,000 that visited the site, 18,000, 800, 800 uh, push up in the car at 502 community dollars. So, but that's, and so hopefully we can turn them into new customers, but dealing with all the 502 orders, that's something I, I definitely am not equipped to do. I would have to get some other orders. Hazel, yes. Hey, I love it too. So all I can say is from the learning everything that I say about them bitches, they'll be like, oh shit, can you wrong and shit is there. But bitch, and y'all just keep saying everything. Something else happened. Oh now this is something else that happened. Break it off my chest and do that. I love I'm sure you two get a piece of pussy to me. Those drives made by half all out. Should be taken off all shelf. Oh good. Y'all didn't think it to get into a classic law school, a class back to law school. That's what y'all should do. If they made y'all have dropped the fall out, all you have to have is your proof of purchase and a proof that the doctor said it's from them. You and you and you can do a class back to law school. We don't report comments in here unless they're for the reason. So don't report no comments. Yeah, because you should do so in Nashville, cash cash on our system. Y'all tripping. Y'all letting that make it, constantly make it. I wouldn't. I sure wouldn't. Hello. Goodbye. Wait, if they could, they could. Girl, sure. sure, the ball agents you have one, y'all want to dance. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know what's the solution. I'm a pray, like I said, uh, Sip Nation, we pray for the safety and the. I gave hospital with the poop that my hair fell off. But see, you could probably, y'all probably could start your next little class section. <laughs> this is mine, by the way. I know Sierra, because maybe Sierra probably sleep. What's time here? Oh, no, it ain't past the bedtime. No, it's 6.30. <laughs> it ain't past the bedtime. I'm going to say it's past the bedtime. I'm going to let you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, Sip Nation, we do pray for the baby, and we pray that he comes back 100% healthy and 100% vibrant. You heard me? The solution is that she shit, the, the shit off the market. Okay? That poison, bitch. <laughs> They said, put a drop in the water. Girl, wait. That's a second ship, girl, if I ever saw one. That is a second ship I ever saw one, girl. I don't know what to say about that. Anymore. I don't know what to say about that. I don't know. I don't know how to. I never put. I would never put that nowhere around my head. I would never put that nowhere around my head. Bitch. So I can't be part of the class of so class next to so I would never put that around my head. Nowhere, bitch. That would never see my scalp. I would. It just smells too strong for me. Where can we find a story? Uh, T Tenders Live got the story. Who, who is saying go up? Oh yeah, that's what she's supposed to do. As long as she's talking about me, my my people will go up. <laughs> long as it's talk, long as it's talking about me, my 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 shit will go up. That's all I need. In fact, let me go to Vigo right fucking now, bitch. So listen, I love y'all. I mean, we have some. We talked about some stuff today. We got some understanding. Um, I might put this to YouTube. Uh, because you know how I like to uh, talk about it. But uh, I love y'all. I'll see y'all on Vigo. Bye bye.